All right, so just a little update for you. We are now outside of Atlanta, Georgia. We were driving from Gulf Shores, Alabama, up to Raleigh to, to take care of some medical stuff for the children, and our car had trouble. We had a message pop up after the check engine light came on, and it said something to the effect of your vehicle will go a max of five miles per hour in 150 miles. It said service deaf and to see the dealer. So we had 150 miles left. We were on our way to, to stop at Green Greenville, South Carolina, uh, but we decided to stop near Atlanta because we figured there'd be dealers here and we didn't want to get too far and not make it to Greenville. So we stopped here and we're actually at a, a really nice RV park and it's called Twin Lakes. It's got a nice lake. It's got some nice hiking trails. So uh, I'd say a bad situation kind of turned into a not so bad sort of thing. And the weather's actually really nice here right now. So we're uh, we're not doing too bad. Granny and Granny Pig. Granny and Granny Pig. Hey. What are we doing? Getting out of the rig. It's a beautiful day. And we're leaving tomorrow and I'm gonna be trapped in the car all day. So. Good to get out and walk. I can't see through the windows. I can't hear through the walls. But I can't live in the middle. Afraid. Can you do the jump, Haley? Can you do the big jump? Okay, let's see it. Good jump. So, Jen, what do you think about this RV park that we got quote and quote stuck at? It is really nice. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you jump across the street. Very nice. It is, I mean, I didn't think we'd find a park, much less a nice park. And it is, it's like we're in nature. The view out of our back is really nice. There's a lot of places for the kids to climb. Uh, the only, there's a couple downsides, but hey, we didn't pick, we couldn't really pick it. There's no laundry. And running around here is really tough. It's off of a busy road. So I could run in here, but the hills are brutal. I'm not used to it from being in Alabama, but um, we, we lucked out. We're, we're very lucky that we ended up in this RV park. Back again. Back again. They've got a good old fashioned payphone up there. I love it. You I gotta know. show Ben, he's probably never seen one of those in real life. No, I barely see one of those anymore. So I'm sure Ben, Ben's seen it. Fun booth? Yeah. Did you go inside? No, I, not during Corona, no thank you. All right, so this is where it gets hard. I need to go to the grocery store and I'm going to pick us up some fast food, which is rare for us, and come back and try to uh, get the kids ready for bed as soon as possible and hopefully by their bedtime so they're not cranky tomorrow because we have to get up pretty early and it's probably going to be about an eight to nine hour drive to Raleigh. So that's where this little setback is going to be a bit of a drain. Yes, he was back. I didn't get anything. I just wanted to have a drink instead. Perfect. That would be shocking. All right, do you need help? Yes. So we made it into Raleigh late yesterday, and the drive was actually surprisingly not that hard. But when we got here, we had some problems. 
So we have this problem sometimes with leveling. If we're not relatively level to begin with, the auto level just doesn't work right. It faults out when it goes. And then we need to try different things. So uh, some of the things that we've tried and we actually eventually got it um, to work is we got these, we bought these curved leveler things and those work sometimes to get one side up but sometimes it's still fault. So last night we tried something a little bit different and I don't know if we're supposed to do this or not, uh, but there's, I don't really understand the rhyme or reason to uh, when we put down the front stabilizers, we just have this uh, hole that we put it in and when it gets there and when we get to that hole, we put it in and, and we just kind of roll with it and everything usually works, but we don't understand exactly what we're doing with that. So if you have advice, that would be helpful. Uh, but one thing we did different last night that eventually got us to be able to level out was we put them down, the front stabilizers down at different lengths in different holes uh, so that it would basically kind of level it out. And it seemed to work. Um, if you have any experience with that or any advice on when you're not very level, what to do when you have auto level, uh, that would be very helpful. All right, so that's probably it for this episode. Uh, we've been having some challenges uh, being on the road and trying to get work done and something we definitely need to figure out and work out because like Jen's got work that she needs to do and I've got work that I need to do on the vlog and we're not doing the best job at it. <laughs> So we need to figure out a schedule or figure something out because I want to do a good job on the vlogs and I'm sure Jen does too. And then Jen wants to do a good job with her work. But doing that and also uh, our commitment to our kids has been a challenge. So I guess one thing to think about if you're thinking about RVing and you have kids, uh, how you're going to work all that out. Uh, I don't have advice yet because we haven't done it <laughs> in a good way to where we all feel like we're not like hanging by a thread all the time. But uh, I'd say that in terms of RV living and the thing that's been the biggest challenge for us overall, it's been uh, homeschool and tasks that need to be done with the RV and work tasks for Jen and work tasks for me and times when we need quiet like Jen does lots of recordings, she does podcast interviews, uh, and she needs quiet. That means that me, the kids and I need to get out of the rig and we need to go somewhere and do something, but we need to make a plan for that ahead of time. And it's just, uh, it feels a little bit hectic right now in terms of everything that we're doing. Uh, so that's why we probably haven't been doing as good of a job with the vlog as I'd prefer to do. And I'd say Jen's probably not doing as good of a job with her work as she prefers to do. And I'd say we're not doing as good of a job parenting as we prefer to do either. So, yeah, something's got to change. And uh, we'll keep you updated on that as well. But, uh, yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been tough <laughs> recently. Uh, and I think the whole thing with us kind of being, being stuck in Gulf Shores to where we're not on the same schedule that we were on when we were out on the road and when we were in places that we could get outside and and do stuff and it's just been it's been tough so we're looking forward to a getting back on the road in general which should be in a few weeks and then b we're gonna i think go to a lot more thousand trails uh, where there's other full-time family members and we're going to give our kids other kids to play with. All right, so that's it for this episode. I hope I didn't uh, bore you too much with our uh, current drama. <laughs> but if you like this episode, please hit the like button. And if you have not already and you'd like to, you can hit the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of your screen.